dozens hurt in a drone attack at a base in southeast Jordan. The news comes as tensions are rising in the Middle East as Iranian-backed Houthi rebels carried out attacks on U.S. forces and our allies. Political reporter Justin Gick joins us in studio with more. Justin? That's right, Emmeline. On Friday, the Houthis launched a missile from Yemen at a U.S. Navy ship, the USS Kearney, which was patrolling in the Gulf of Aden. The Kearney was able to shoot down the missile before it reached them. However, a missile did strike a British tanker in the same waters, causing it to burn for hours. With today's news of the deaths of American troops, many are wondering if the U.S. is closer to getting into a direct conflict with Iran. Senator Kevin Kramer says it does look possible because so far, nothing that the Biden administration has done has curbed the enthusiasm of Iran to continue to try and harm us. He says Iran can pretend that they are not behind all of this, but they are clearly are. There are no Houthis without Iran, and there is no Hezbollah without Iran. Kramer says these continued conflicts with the Iranian-backed rebel group has even impacted a U.S. service member that is from North Dakota. We have a, a native son lying in Walter Reed um, Medical Center in, in, uh, in Bethesda, Maryland, all because we haven't adequately responded to the Houthis. Um, I, I visited him, by the way, last week, his family, and talked to his, his wife, uh, Lorna Illerbrunn, who was also an, an, an Army aviator. And she brought up a really important point to me. She said, why don't we have a better counter to these drones, these small drones? Kramer says right now the U.S. is shooting $2 million missiles at $2,000 drones to take them out. And even doing that, we do not get every single one of them. He says although he doesn't know if we will end up in a direct conflict with Iran, he does know that until Iran takes us seriously, they are going to continue to exploit our weaknesses. I'll be back at 10 with a full report on what the U.S. needs to do to stop these attacks and how dangerous it would be if the U.S. becomes involved in a war with Iran. Emmeline. Thanks, Justin.